Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing another reaction vid because you guys love them so, 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 so much. Also shout out to my sweater. This is my dad's and I just, I love it. Anyway, so today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We are heading over to YouTube and today I'm gonna be reacting to a white woman doing a black child's hair. This is actually Christy Gior. Christy Gior or Christ, Christy Gior? I'm not sure how to uh, pronounce her name, I'm sorry. This is actually her, I did a little digging because y'all saw this my DM and told me to react to this. It turns out this is actually her adopted daughter. So, um, I think this is really cool. I, we're just gonna watch her latest video, which is Kids Protective Twists for Natural Hair for A, for B, for C. Tips for foster and adoptive parents. So yes, is this her adopted child or her foster child? This is her adopted child. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I, I feel like you keep coming back. I feel like you keep coming back here. So I just urge you to subscribe. It's free. It's free. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so first of all, I want to say I just kind of just switched through her content a little bit, and she has like so many kids. She has so many kids and she is, is she a single mom? I think it's dope that she adopted black children. And I think, you know, you can adopt whoever you want to adopt. It's just, you need to be sensitive to their background and to their culture. And if you're going to adopt a black child, I'm going to need you to know how to do their hair. Or I'm going to need you to go find out and learn how to do their hair. So let's get into it. Let's see what it's hidden for. All right, let's watch. Two strand twist hairstyle on my daughter. I am always looking for new styles and I saw something similar, but I changed things up and I added my own flavor, a little bit of my own style to make it unique to my daughter. My girls are growing up fast and I'm slowly transitioning to hairstyles that are a little bit more age appropriate. Okay, first of all, let me just start off by saying, all right, Miss Ma'am, we're off to a very good start. <laughs> First off, this girl is beautiful. She has glorious, gorgeous hair. And I love that the mother put 4A, 4B, and 4C in the title. It's just one of those things where it's like there, there's a large discrepancy and a lot of things, tips that can work for 4C hair, 4B hair is more likely than not gonna work for 4A hair too. So type, just putting type 4, honestly. I may start putting type 4 in my videos, truthfully. Like, I just feel like, I don't know, it just encompasses just the broad range of hair types. So I love that she did that. I mean, I can't tell her daughter's hair, but it is definitely tightly coiled. So I love that she did that. Um, so I wanna just note that she started her hair off damp, which is superb. And she says she's about to split her hair into four sections. Come on! Come on! Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's continue. Leave-in conditioner from roots to ends all the way to just put back that moisture automatically because when you shampoo hair we didn't shampoo today but when you shampoo hair it automatically strips let me do this and then I'm going to show you the kind of style I'm going to do and the tools like that brush that I use and the bands that I use and all that Christmas season lay foundation make a name for Generations, please, and make it and take a break. Miss Christy is doing her thing with her daughter's hair. Okay, she's doing her thing. Miss Christy knows how to take care of hair. The sum of some black mothers, I have to say. She is handling this hair beautifully. And I love that. And I said this before, and I just feel like if you're gonna adopt a black child, if you're gonna date a black man and have kids with a black man and have biracial kids, I'm gonna need you to learn how to deal with African American hair. And we are ready to start styling. Okay, so this is the game plan. My two, I put it into two different parts. Come on, rat tail call. Nah, Chrissy, Chrissy doing her thing. Chrissy doing her thing. She doing her thing. She doing her thing. I'm going to start at the top of her ear here. You can do any type of part that you like. Part it all the way to the other side. Just a rough part and then I'll go back and clean it up afterwards and make sure it's even. This girl's hair is detangled. <laughs> She is putting that rat tail comb through her root and it is effortlessly parting through. That's how you know this woman went through and meticulously detangled her daughter's hair. A damsel. Let's continue. 
just part super easily because you've done all that detangling work. Deep condition just, oh my gosh, it helps manage and, okay, I'm gonna move you around in a second, okay? So we're just gonna part it all the way across. I'm gonna start at the top of the ear. You can start wherever you like. Just kind of eyeball it, making sure it gets as even as possible. And when you pull it apart, be gentle. This is really speaking to my young spirit. Like I just, this is so beautiful because how like a parent deals with a child's hair, that child is gonna internalize this. Like she's handling it with care. She's saying be gentle, like yes. We have this, you know, almost kind of negative relationship with our hair sometimes. Not all of us, you know, us that are woke. There's so much information on the internet about, you know, natural hair care that I just feel like at this point, whether you're black, white, like there's no reason to be ripping through your child's hair. Not okay, okay? There's information. Anywho, let me cut some news. That's good enough. Let me just clean it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this section up because this is the last section that I'm going to style. And then I'm going to create some rows. I am the type of person who just eyeballs everything. I don't really think. This is, hey, so it's coming from inside of your spirits. Christy, y'all do one. I'm gonna make three rows. I'm just gonna eyeball it and separate it with my rat tail comb here and um, pin each section up and we'll go from there a little bit i wish i had more of those clips but we've lost all of our clips <laughs> that is that is that is life does anyone know where their bobby pins go it's like the air just be just it just disappears clips scrunchies like all of them really just be disappearing i'm feeling the vibes from this one so all her hair is moisturized with the leave-in conditioner now i'm going to go through it with oil. I ran out of my favorite one, which is the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Castor Oil. I use a lot of oil. That's just how I am on her hair because I feel like that's one of the main reasons why her hair has grown so beautifully is because oil. Again, is that starting a from the teaser? ends, working our way up. <sighs> Everything is correct, okay? Everything is correct. Right! Sis got the Tangle Teaser. First of all, if y'all haven't seen my Tangle Teaser review, and I've done a few of them, you dead need a Tangle Teaser in your life. Like, for real. Like, I mean, it depends on your hair, okay? Some people really don't like it, but generally, I the tangle teaser. It really be getting your hair together. Pretty colors in her hair. I want you want to use these colors. Do you like those? Okay, so I've got this like lavender purple and I've got orange because I like loud colors and I think it's super fun for little girls and I'm gonna take advantage of my little girls being young for as long as I can and liking me do that kind of stuff. I think this is so cute and even just her asking her daughter like, you know, getting her involved and asking her which colors do you like and, and letting the daughter choose like, yes! Girl, I'm taking, you know, little notes for when I have my little chizzy running around my little knucklehead. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some eco gel. This is probably one of my favorite gels ever. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just do two here. I'm gonna take a little bit of that eco gel. So as soon as I smooth it out, and I like using a little bit of gel on the actual hair as well, because um, it helps it hold. I mean, yeah, I would have went without the gel, but you know, this is her daughter's hair at the end of the day. So she's gonna do what works for her daughter's hair. If, if she feels like it holds in the moisture, uh, please, like, can I co come on contest? It's good. <laughs> And then I'm gonna take my band and I'm just gonna put it um, firmly but not super tight to the scalp. And I can be a little bit tighter with these hair ties because they are so gentle on the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and do a two strand twist by separating it and twisting it together. The gel helps me smooth down all the baby hairs and it really looks nice. I see why she's using the gel. It's making sense. In fact, how could I even contest? I can't even believe I questioned it. How could I ever question you? Remove if the hair gets dry, have a spray bottle 
it's water handy. The beauty of, you know, Christie's channel, which I can see, when it comes to the internet, right, everyone likes to see themselves in other people, right? So she, she's gonna have, because she's a white woman, she's going to have a very large white audience. And I'm sure there are a lot of white mothers out there that, you know, probably have black children, whether they're foster, or adopted so I'm sure and I'm sure that's what she said she has a very big audience of that so you know they're gonna go to her channel channel and I'm happy that she's actually spreading great information because they don't listen to her they just are like it's human nature to gravitate towards people that look like you I love how she talks to her daughter I, I really I, I just I noticed it and I, it's 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 really nice to see because I, like I kids internalize everything like their parents and how their parents interact with them really does shape them so like this is just really it's really nice to see but it's also kind of like i don't know it's interesting because it's it's really making me like compare to just the normal black experience <laughs> i'm really excited to see how you know my generation ends up bringing up their kids and Although I'm excited, I also know there are a lot of women that are still not educated with their natural hair and they're going to, they're just gonna, uh, I just, I see what can possibly happen. You know how black mom, you know how certain, some black moms can be when it comes to our hair and how they treat us and like just the whole thing, the experience. I know I won't be like that. I hope. I, in fact, I pray I can't. I just know some others won't have that experience or luxury and it's just, anyway, I'm just happy to see this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the top. I just love the way this feels, it feels so good. I'm gonna do the top. I'm gonna see if I can get you all the way up here and show you. I'm gonna start out by parting it as even as I can using nose as a guide all the way down to the first row. Okay, after I part it, I'm going to work on one section at a time. She is really teaching the girls. Like, I can really see someone that is struggling with doing their daughter's hair or son's hair and just really, like, she is really spelling it out for y'all. Okay, mama needs a drink. You wanna drink here? Snack break. I know she needs a drink. Listen, doing hair is not, it's not, it's not easy. And this girl got a head of hair on her. And she is, and I, it was something I was gonna uh, just mention, like she is really taking her time and doing like an actual style on this little girl's hair. I'm like, I would put that hair up in two pigtails. You better wait for a week. <laughs> so the fact that she's taking her time to do this is, what? I just really needed Elia's um, style to last me two weeks because we have a super, super busy couple weeks coming up. And um, with four little girls and lots of work to be done around the house and in our backyard. And four girls? One, two, three, four little girls? <laughs> Christy, you've tried to, hey, I'm tired for her. <laughs> oh my God. I like switching up styles, braids, twists big sections, small sections. Um, I alternate to give her parts and her scalp a break and put her in a different style. I think that's what contributes to her hair being so nice is me putting in different styles. Taking the time to alternate the different styles and partings to give her scalp a break. Let's, let's let that, let's, let's marinate on that for a second because even me, right here, it's tired. <laughs> Doing the same part, you'll notice if you tend to do middle parts or you tend to do side parts on the same side, you will notice a decrease in hair there because you're pulling on that same area every time. Christy, Gior, Gior, you are doing great, sweetie. Okay, and this is just, Wow, it's it's a learning lesson because what is everyone else's excuse? There's no excuse. There really isn't. There is enough information on the internet to figure out how to do black hair. It, it, yeah, there, there's just there's no excuse. That was amazing. That was great. Shout out to Christy for you know doing her thing, putting her foot in her daughter's hair. It looks superb, and I will be taking notes for when. Ever my future daughter wants to come to me, okay? All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, 
Come on, you know what to do at this point. If you guys have any other videos that you want me to react to, make sure to slide into my DMs on Instagram. Let me know. I'm always down to hear your suggestions. And if you guys want to binge watch any other 4C hair videos or reaction videos that I have, I'll link my playlist here and in the description box as well. So you guys can go binge watch that. And I'm going to catch y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.